Yeah, they just moved us outside of the courtroom. So originally this trial began as April was trying to fight for 47 dogs to go back to her. But as that trial began, she then changed her mind, saying that she only wanted 13 of those dogs. So then they had to have a separate meeting off the record to talk about which dog she was talking about. She claims that those 13 were family dogs. Now, this trial also had an interesting start because April McLaughlin was going by a different name. She filed paperwork under Sydney Sierra Taylor McKinley and was addressed so in the beginning. It wasn't until the first witness was called to the stand who was told to identify April and that she was in fact the person in the courtroom who was identifying as Sydney. Now that first witness was the field operations manager with the Humane Society who was inside the home during the seizure. She described the smelling of decomposition and how the house was covered in flies and feces. She also noted how there were no water for dogs trying to drink and all on how dogs were trying to drink from dry bowls. Now the second witness was a sergeant with Chandler police who also recalled what they viewed during the seizure. Very similar. Now, April had a chance to cross examine the witnesses where she challenged what those witnesses saw and claimed. For example, to their comments about not seeing food or water, she said it could have been possible that they were fed before the seizure, though she was told many times that she could only ask questions. She ended up not testifying or proving any evidence of why she should, she should get these dogs back. Now, again, that judge ruled that she should not get any of these dogs back, citing that the pictures sort of paint the picture for them. Now, she does have 14 days to appeal this decision, and because of how high profile this case is, as you can see with all these people, the judge also ordered that she get a police escort out of the courtroom for her safety. And again, We'll provide you the latest on this case as we learn more from it. Stephen, thank you.